So, Aaron, you going to throw me under the bus like you did in the last collab we did? Nope. You sure? Because that was pretty... That was I a, Brutus that was a low blow. That was a low blow. Hey, you're the tech YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. This is the apology video. <laughs> and okay. we're going to be going back. We're going to be taking this back to, to reality. And... Uh, I'm going to introduce you to a K-Rock group. They're called The Rose. We're going analog, baby boy. Chat, pretty... make sure you tell me in the comment. I mean, chat. Everyone, make sure you tell me in the comments chat. below if you think I should collab with this, if I can trust this guy to collab with him again after this. I can't say that I never won't do this again, but I won't, I'm not doing it tonight. <laughs> All right. Without <clears throat> further ado, I'm going to let Aaron take the reins on this. Yes. Like I said, this is a group called The Rose, and this is a song called Back to Me. And to me, this is actually probably one of my favorite songs that I've had on the channel. And honestly, in a sense, I feel like that um, it's good to kind of come back to this realistic kind of feel. They were here in Utah, like, not too long ago. I didn't even figure it out until until the day of. So I actually ended up missing it. Poor <laughs> I know. Aaron. I Poor was Aaron. like that. I was that sad. It would have been sick. That's my sympathy for you. That's the only sympathy I give you right now. <laughs> yes. yes, I'm still bitter about the last collab. <laughs> now this is gonna be good. You're gonna like this. Make you mad, I could make you scream, I could make you cry, I could make you leave, I could make you hate me for everything, but I can't make you come back to me. Like a blink 182 film, yeah, right. Instead of pulling my weight, always pushing my blood. You gave me all that I could take. Yeah, I took it all for granted. Head up in the clouds, yeah, I never understand it. I remember thinking I don't need you, but then time passed by and it's so untrue. Now I'm the rain over your parade, reason you're all for me. Yeah, I always keep making the same mistakes. Maybe I never did. I can make you mad, I can make you scream, I can make you cry, I can make you leave, I can make you hate me for everything, but I can't make you come back to me. I can make a world out of broken dreams, I can make you say things you don't mean, I can all make all we will make. Right, just to fuck it all up. Where I see you tonight. Since you told me hit the road, I've been running on empty. If anything, I know it's how to run a happy ending. I remember when you still needed me. Don't know how I let it go so easily. Now I come to your sunny days. Reason you run away. Don't know how I can make you the same mistakes. Maybe I never. Anyway. I can make you mad, I can make you scream, I can make you cry, I can make you leave, I can make you hate me for everything, but I can't make you come back to me, I can make a world out of broken dreams, I can make you say things you don't mean, I can all make all we will make. Thank you. 
make you scream, I could make you cry, I could make you leave, I could make you hate me for everything, but I can't make you come back to me. Wow, okay. I told you I'm bringing the heat. <laughs> okay. Oh, hi, bud. I have, I have a dog right here with me. Yeah. I have the Bob Wah. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I've been following my channel for a little. They've seen videos of him, but he's right oh, here. Yeah. I don't want to. He's pretty tired, so I don't want to lift him up. He's pretty <laughs> tired from today. That's okay. He can sit there and rest. Yeah, he's tired. <laughs> but okay, I guess I can trust you to do another collab. But make sure yeah. you guys tell me in the comments below if I can trust this guy again <laughs> to do another collab because. Yeah. That was like a total Brutus moment in the last video, but wow, this <laughs> this was actually really good. Like I was really getting into it. Like that's oh yeah, type of music that I really actually listen to. I know, and you know, like that's kind of what we grew up on and back in high school. So I, I was like, oh okay, this is real. <laughs> so fun fact, I for the longest time um, wanted to. Here, actually, you probably don't even know this. I may have told you this. When I was in seventh grade, I wanted to play the guitar, mm. and I found out that my my uh, band teacher is like, yeah, he's like, I can teach people. He's like, I let people play the guitar. I dropped out of band after seventh grade because ah, I was just like, eh, it's not for me. Yeah. So my senior year of high school, I got my guitar. It's actually sitting right over here. Yes. Um, but. That was that just makes me want to pick up my guitar and really just go out Delve back in. Yeah, I, no, that's it, real, I, I like that, and I, the lyrics were catchy too. And I, the videography was really good too. Yeah, you know, I was gonna say the thing that I like about this whole song is like all the things that he can make, and it's like all the stuff that makes her mad, makes her angry, makes him want to leave the whole shebang, but he can't make her come back. See, and that, you know. I think that's one thing that we as a society, we always do. Like, I'm not going to go off on a tangent on this, but it's one of those things that I know that you and I, we've talked off screen quite a bit about past relationships and girls we've had crushes on. And you wish that things would work out. And then you yeah. understand, like, after they after they didn't work out, you, you go back, you look at it like, we oh. were nothing similar. Like, this would have been toxic. Like, yeah. it was already toxic when we were with yeah. them or when we were going <laughs> after them. Yeah. And so that's why I feel like I can re relate to this. And so, I, you know, I made a comment that these guys remind me of Blink-182. And it's true. They do. They remind me of, like, Blink-182. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and, like, it feels really pop-punky. And that's kind of one of the what I liked most is... Because, like I said, like, this is kind of the stuff that we grew up with, like, red jumpsuit, red jumpsuit apparatus, simple plans. Uh, you have, you know, Blink-182, The Offspring... The whole shebang. And they all have songs that were pretty similar to this. So for me personally, this was something that someone had recommended to me. And I just remember when I got done listening to this, I was like, oh, yeah, this is this is exactly what I remember listening to when I was in high school. So I, like I said, I was all for it. So see, and that's the thing is like, and I'm not dogging on any music nowadays, but I feel like the music that we listened to in high school was so much better. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm, and I guess I am somewhat dogging on it, I guess, but it's just because, like, that's what I grew up with. Like, that's what I went through high school with. Like, if I had a girl break my heart or if I was pissed off at a friend, mm -hmm. probably not this guy right next to me, um, yeah. but I would just go and I would just rock out. Like, I would just jam out to punk rock, to alternative rock, and just really get my emotions out. Yeah. I mean, I'm right there with you. I mean, I, I'm i the biggest Blink fan <laughs> like out there. I've seen them live every single time they've come here. I think, uh, I think it's been like six or seven times that they've come here. And I but actually, it's probably been a little bit more, but I've, I've seen them live like six or seven times. So, you know, and some people, even like, through the Matt era, I listen to the Matt era just as much. You know, honestly, I said this in previous videos. Music has always been a part of my life. You know, and yeah. there's actually some pretty big things that are going to be coming up for both of us. We're not going to really get into the details right now because they're still in 
the preparation stages. Yeah. But they have to do with music. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I like these kind of songs because. Honestly, I love his voice, too. You can almost kind of feel the frustration in it. Yeah, you could. And see, that's the thing is like, you know, just like right here, for example, I love this right here. Making the same mistakes. Maybe I never deserved you. I could make you cry, I could make you leave, I could make you hate me for everything, but I can't make you come back to me. I could make a world out of broken dreams, I could make you say things you don't mean, I can all make all we were made to be, but I can't make you come back to me. See that right there mm-hmm. reminds me of like old school, like Blink One Eighty Two, yeah. where they like they didn't spend like a a big um, exorbitant amount for like to make a music video. They're just like told like the, the videographer like, "Hey, we want you we're to run down us. the street. <laughs> we're gonna do this on the street, and we're gonna have fun with it." Yeah. Well, now, you know, go ahead. I think one thing that like, like I was just about to say, like one thing that I really like about it too is that there's times in the song where he will add like uh, like voice whips or like vocal whips to kind of give you like that that crack, you know. And I think that it just adds a little bit more to that emotion that you're just like, oh, he's really feeling it. You just hear him hit that voice, you know, the voice uh, whip, the vocal whip, and it's just like, wow, he's he's really feeling it. Yeah, I and see like that the way this music video was shot, like you know, from a videographer's point of view, that's a lot of planning because you have to shut down a road. <laughs> you have to, yeah, you have to shut down a road. Lots of planning and storyboarding. I just talked about this. So, a little side fun fact: I have Aaron. I have in, I have two videos I've yet to release that mm-hmm. I sh- maybe people should tell me in the comments below if they want me to release them now or later. But there's I'm reacting to American bands and their oh. videography. So, guys, make sure you tell me in the comments below if you want me to impressive. Really, if you want me to post those now, or if you want me to wait. Yeah. But um, there's a lot that goes into videography. Yeah. Uh, you know, yeah, this looks simple right here. And if you go back to it, like it looks simple, but it's not. Yeah, I mean, you got to get the lights. You got to get the full thing. You gotta get lighting, and you have to. It, and you can't just be using one camera. Yeah, like this is a multi-camera production. Yeah, and the people who and like the people who record it have to know that they have steady hands, that they know what they're doing. They can't just BS it and say like, yeah. "Oh yeah, we'll be fine." <laughs> no. Yeah, no, I totally get you. It makes sense. Yeah, and I mean. A lot of times when they do these, either it's someone in-house or they go and hire a firm that, like, this is their specialty. And I'm sure that they probably, when you go into any, like, videographer's, like, firm, they probably like, okay, so this is a rock group. Go talk to, like, the rock floor, you know. <laughs> oh, this is a, this is a uh, R&B floor. Go talk to the R&B crew over there. And I'm sure that they have people that are, like, specialized in these kinds of things. Well, I mean, they, they kind of have to. Mm-hmm. Um because no one music video is the same. Yeah. No one production is the same when it comes to being a videographer and really just capturing these moments. Like even from a photographer's point of view, like I've never had one photo shoot um, when I was actively pursuing the photography. I never had one same photo shoot at all. Like they were all different. Yeah. It's the spice of life. (laughs) But I really like this. I like it. I feel like it looks simple enough, but you know it's hard to do. Yeah. Try to make things right, just to fuck it all up. Where I see you tonight, since you told me hit the road, I've been running on empty. If anything, I know it's how to ruin a happy ending. I remember when you still needed me. Don't know how I let it go so easily. Now I come to your sunny days, reason you run away. Don't Where's that vocal whip I was talking about there? Yeah. Maybe I never deserved you anyway. I can make you glad I can make 
That's such a good rhythm, too. I know, right? Okay, so I have to point out something. I've pointed the, I've pointed this out on those uh, music videos I have yet to re- those reaction videos I've yet to release. Yeah. You know that this ha- and I need, I think I've even pointed it out on some of the Stray Kids videos. You ha- you know that they had to do that in a few takes because I'm sure they it w- it wasn't just like a one and done. Okay, we're good to go. Yeah, you know since the these guys these band this band there you know these guys are like brothers. They're they probably either one of them either slipped and tripped. <laughs> or are they maybe their voice went out of range? Yeah, <laughs> something like that. And you know they're just sitting there laughing. About it. So it got, probably got to the point like, hey, we got to take this serious because we're paying these guys to record yeah. this for us, and we got to get this done. That is one hundred percent true. Yeah, I think uh, for me, like when I listen, when I watch this, my very first thought is, is like, I and I, I assume that this is how it is, like with the standard like K-pop dancers and stuff like that. That they probably just sit there and practice and practice and practice and practice and practice. And probably part of the storyboarding is probably them like in studio, like they because they're signed to a major record record label with K-pop Idol. So they probably go into like where they do their dance practices and like talk about camera angles and like where they're going to go, where they're going to be, where you got to be. And then when the time comes, maybe they do do it in like two or three takes who knows because like maybe they've been practicing it for a while before they go and film right but the point is is that when it comes to any kind of production of like a music video whether it be american bands or k-pop bands or just whatever kind of band or music this is a multi day multi week kind of months yeah it could be months you know great example shadow of the day from lincoln park that took like you know over a month to record and it was oh, yeah. it, it was a simple vi- music video but they had so much going on in it that like if, you, if there's a slightest mistake they're like no got got to do this again yeah and you know i think uh, as a videographer i'm sure that you can probably point this out but it never goes right you always got to plan for the mistakes <laughs> plan for the unexpected and hope for the best yeah i'm sure that's probably how it was going even and doing something as simple as playing in the middle of a road. <laughs> well, I mean, and not to mention the fact that like it was the videographer, the videographer firm that they probably hired to do this. They, they had to contact whatever city this is filmed in. They're like, Hey, this is us. Um, we're just, this is so-and-so firm. We're wanting to, you know, do this recording right here. What do we need to do to make sure that we have no traffic coming down this road? Yeah. So that looks like a pretty busy bridge. I was about to say, it's a bridge, and shutting down a bridge is probably more difficult because most of the time bridges are kind of like a main focal point in traffic. Yeah. Um, it's usually a big connector. Like, even going back to that shadow of, of the day music video from Lincoln Park, like, knowing that they had to shut down, and I, I'm not sure where they filmed it. It looks yeah. like it was like in Chicago or New York or something. Mm-hmm. But I'm sure they had to call the local city government and say, like, hey, this is a... So and so, I'm representing the band Lincoln Park. We want to record this. This is what we're going to do. We need to see what we what it's going to take for us to shut down these roads in this part of of your city, so that we can record this. Yeah, there's a lot that goes into this, and that's why I say storyboarding is essential. Makes sense. Yeah, plan for the worst, but hope for the best. <laughs> Never goes right. It's yeah. like what is that one? It's the law. Is it Murphy's law where? He, um, always expect that things are going to go wrong is that what it is well and not just that like well yeah i think that's what it is but um even when you talk about like the videography of something you know we're both big comic book fans deadpool and wolverine movie that mm-hmm. just came out i was watching a behind the scenes interview that ryan reynolds did with one of the local talk shows i was actually telling my mom about it shout out to her channel um but uh, so I was telling her that he, Ryan Reynolds, he went on this, it was like this daytime talk show and they got everything set up. Like they were, they chose the music and everything. They realized they had not contacted um, Madonna. the artist about the living on a prayer. Madonna. Madonna. They hadn't contacted her and he was just like, oh crap. 
Like, and so him and Joel Schumacher, him and the um, Sean Levy, the okay. director, they had to reach out to Madonna and they had to go to her house, basically run through the whole movie idea with her and just say, like, you know, can we use your song in this? Like, you know, because there, and that's why I say, like, there's sto- so much that goes into storyboarding, whether it be for a music video, for a movie, for a TV show. Because if you, especially if you're using music from like, an artist, you have to get their permission. You can't just say like, "Oh, well, I'm just going to go throw this Lincoln Park song," and and then I'll just tell them about it later. No, that's not what you do. Like, you have to get the permissions. You have to do everything, and that's why you see some of these um, creators, even on YouTube, that they get their stuff taken down because they didn't get yeah permission to use said material, and they tried to take all the credit for it. Yeah. Well, you know, and I think also, too, from what I've heard, Madonna does not do that. She does not give out her songs, like, easily at all. So, like, I remember hearing, like, him say, like, when we got that, we were shocked because we weren't expecting it. Yeah, I mean, and and it's for good reason. I mean, she's a pretty well-known artist. (laughs) Yeah, I'd say so. (laughs) From, like, you know, the 80s, 90s, and to now. And that was a that was a hit that was a big hit when it came out, and it's and this song just amplified that hit even more. Oh yeah. And you know, looking at it from a videographer's perspective, like that that movie wouldn't have been the same without that song. Mm-hmm. It, that song is what it was like the it was like the cherry on top. Yeah. Or like the the icing on the cake, yeah. because it worked out so well. And I'm not going to spoil it for people who haven't seen it because I'm not that kind of a person. But like you know, the parts where they do use it. It was very well inserted in, but even going from that, like going back to these guys with this music video, you know, these guys had to do this and not, this wasn't just like a one, like I said, it wasn't just like a one take and we're good to go. It probably took a few tries Mm -hmm. to get everything correct. For sure. I mean, the, the, the thing that I think a lot of people don't realize too, is there's not really a way that you can fake, or like not play the drums because like we know that when you watch a music video most of it's lip sync well all of it's generally lip sync um and so like you don't have to plug in the guitar you don't have to put put on the microphone you can't do that with drums (laughs) and so like the whole idea is like it could be it's there's a lot that could go wrong especially with the band because it's not you know there's a lot of analog stuff that could go wrong well, Aaron, send us out. Okay. First and foremost, I hope that you like this. I hope that this was a uh, a good change of pace and uh, wasn't too crazy for the uh, since we did Navis and stuff <laughs> like that. <clears throat> but yeah, no, this is a. I really like the rose, and maybe maybe we when we start collabing again, we start going down some more like this. Some more groups like this. Some more rabbit holes that we'll never get out of. <laughs> no, never. But there's a lot of good K-pop groups. In fact, you might have even seen like I put one up today of an unboxing uh, for a, that was that's a rock band. That that's a there's a lot of really good K-rock out there too. Cool. So in any case, I'm gonna send you on your way. And so Tony, thanks for having me, and we'll see you in the next video.